It was a magical time, but reality would soon screw it up. It's really jazzed to be involved in a project like this because this is state-of-the-art technology, but we're going back to classic entertainment drama. Well, I'm, I'm excited about seeing Sparks on the iPhone because I haven't seen anything like this before. Sparks, uh, to me, is innovative, and that's, that's important. It's a whole new creative process. First of all, I'm, I'm a comic book fan, and to suddenly see it in this way, to see uh, comics in motion, but done in this manner, uh, and to be part of it, I feel like a pioneer. When people first tried to do this, you just have like a boring monotone kind of voiceover reading over the book, and this is a fully cast story with all these great actors in it, and it's just really well done. I remember seeing the first cut of it and going, wow, this is really cool looking. And the interesting thing is we see a lot of projects here. We see rough cuts on a lot of cartoons, on a lot of movies, and this really, really stands out. When you see it, you really look and go, man, this, I can see where this would have a future, and it's exciting enough that you want to kind of continue that, gee, what, what's coming up next kind of a thing. This is something that we haven't seen a lot of, and I think that uh, it could be uh, the beginning of, of um, an, an exciting new era in the way that comics uh, are brought to the public. Sparks is trying to do the good thing, but you have to get kind of uh, illegal to do the right thing sometimes. It goes beyond revenge. It goes to setting the world in order. I think people secretly are always looking for somebody in their life who could set things straight. So it's nice to turn on your iPhone and see a little bit of justice in the world.